Introducing Paint and Stick 1.5. We've created an all new brush engine with scattering, jittering, color mods, directional control, expanded tablet dynamics, and more. Please download the free starter brush pack to try some of the brushes you can see here and to make your own. By user request, we rebuilt our brush palette from scratch. Now it exists as a dockable panel outside of the effect, so your brushes can be accessed by all instances of Paint and Stick in any project. We also listen to your request to support more of the Photoshop brush attributes. As you can see here, we have five of the tabs supported, and we're currently working on more. We've also changed our brush format to a PNG image paired with a JSON text file, so brushes are easily editable and shareable. For cell animators, we've added a new fill tool for one-click fills. Preview and modify your fill in real time, so you can always get a perfect fill on the first try. You can see here that when you shift click and drag, it's going to adjust the preview's fill tolerance, so you know exactly which areas you're going to fill before you click to fill them in. Also, you can easily separate your fills from your lines, so you can affect your fills in After Effects easier than you could in any other program. Your fills are created as a separate keyframe from your lines, so they're easy to move, copy, paste, and delete. This flexibility allows you to easily apply bevels, textures, and effects to your fills, all without ever leaving After Effects. We've also added hotkeys. You can now alt-click to sample a color. We've now added tool hotkeys, so for example you can press B for brush or E for erase. And you can toggle onion skin on and off with a hotkey, so cell animation is much quicker. Many of the hotkeys are customizable through a text document too. Paint and Stick hotkeys will temporarily override After Effects hotkeys only when Paint and Stick is selected. This means your hotkeys will never conflict with After Effects, and you can set them to whatever you want. Onion skin, drawing, and playback have all been optimized, so onion skin should scrub about 5 times faster, and most computers should have no trouble drawing and playing back in 4K. On the stick side of things, the entire Cinema 4D exporter is brand new. We redid our C4D exporter, so now it's just a simple post effect built into the render settings. Our one-click render setup lets you render the paint and stick passes in the multi-pass render, hassle-free. We also have some great tutorials for you to check out. This featured tutorial was done by professional matte painter and Cinema 4D artist, Justin Acri. All of the layers you see here were created and stuck in paint and stick. This tutorial shows several great techniques he used, to take this shot from the raw Cinema 4D render you see here, to this beautiful finished shot. Try the free open beta today.